In this section we will talk about how we can actually compete with all our competitors on eBay and beat them and be promoted higher than them on eBay's search algorithm. So let's first understand what is eBay's search algorithm and how it works. So if I write any keyword on eBay, let's say pets, I have two types of results. The first one is best match, which works by a few different criteria. The first one is how, ma how many sales the products had, which is the most important one. And the second one is the match of the, of the keywords that I wrote in the search uh, bar here on the top. And, sorry, so uh, the keywords that I wrote here and the keywords of the products. So, as, my, as more accurate it will be as the first results, higher chance that the results will be shown for the right keyword. So if I write pet roller, I will, be may, I will be sure that all of the uh, first results will have the keywords pet and roller. Pet and roller here. So all of them will have that somewhere. So here it's pet and roller in the middle and here it's pet and roller here so that's the first one also there are some different uh, things which called item specifics where we can also add the keyword so it's not only the title it's also the item specifics the item specifics is the section here so as as many as much we have more if we have more item specifics higher chance for us to be promoted on eBay's search algorithm because the chance that someone will write something that we have there or in our title or in our description is higher. So that's why we need to optimize our titles, our item specifics. And the next one is the prices. If we can compete by the price, so there are a lot of people who go here and just making here a search by price plus shipping lowest first. In this case, we also want to be higher than our competitors. To do that, the only parameter will be the price. So we will try to compete in both sections, in the prices and by keywords, which will be in description, title and item specifics, as I said before. The other thing is, uh, there are some other things which has, uh, have less effect but also very important. For example, the title. If our title will be more attractive, sorry, not title, uh, images. If, the, if our main image will be more attractive, we will get more clicks, like I made now, and higher chance for sell. If we sell more for a specific keyword, eBay will promote our listing more. So, we need good images, good title, good item specifics, description, and good price. If we have all this together, we will be promoted more than our competitors and we'll be able to beat them and make more, than, more sales than they do. I hope that it's clear. In the next lesson, we will start actually to list the product together. So the first step will be to create a title. See you there. Before we start and check how to optimize our listing and in the end of this section, we will also list your first product. We need to understand five things that we should know before we list our first product. So these five things are really critical. This is one of the most critical videos in this uh, course because if you don't follow these uh, important things that I will say here, your account may be blocked. So the first one is Vero. What is Vero? And I also talked about this in one of the uh, other lessons. Vero and is actually copyright violation. So eBay has a list of Vero products, which are brands that not allowed to be sold on eBay. But the thing is that this list is very partial list because everyone can contact eBay and say, hey, this seller listed my product without my approval and boom, your account will be suspended. So what we do in AutoDS, we have a huge list of brands, of thousands of different brands that we don't allow you to list when you will uh, try to list it from here. Now, uh, when AutoDS says that this listing is possibly a error, you should not 
list the listing. For example, if I do grab details for an iPhone product, like this one, So, Autodesk will show me a pop-up that says that this listing is Apple and Apple is a Vero brand, so you should not um, list it. Now, if it writes that the brand is in the brand or manufacturer, for sure you should not list the product. If Autodesk says that it's in the title or description, you should try and understand if the product is really from this company or this brand or not. So, just for the example, I will continue with this listing, that just to show you some other examples. So, this is the first one, the Vero violation. The second thing is a misleading title. In this case, if we check the iPhone that we just uh, loaded here, we can see that the title says black. So, if the buyer will go and buy the gold variation, he may say that he thought that it's a black product, a black variation, and then we will lose a case if someone will open a case about us on eBay. So that's the second thing. So we don't want to put anything on the title that is related to variations like color or a size or shipping location, stuff like that. So that's the second uh, option. So here we can do one of the two things. We can delete the variation or we can just remove the black from the title. Now again, this product is Vero, so we don't really list it. It's just an example. Another thing about the title is that you sh should check that you don't have here something like iPhone, for example. Now you can think that it's actually of Apple. So the case is from Apple. And this is something that can also block your account. So avoid this type of uh, titles also. The third thing is the category. So the category is something which is very important. You just need to check here that the title is the right title for your product. There are some cases and there are some very um, popular categories where the, the uh, category, category almost always will be wrong. And if we list in the wrong category, we will be suspended. So how to know that? Just try to understand if it's the right title for, for the right category for your product. For example, a sex category is a category where we cannot list without checking the category because eBay will never suggest us the sex category by default. So we always will need to change the category here. So that's another thing that you need to remember. The third thing is the price of the products. As a beginner, you don't want to list expensive products and expensive is according to you and your budget. But for example, for me, I wouldn't go for a, in your place for products that are more expensive than, for example, 30 or 40 dollars. It should be something that is affordable for, for you to lose because sometimes when we ship from China something can be lost or there can be some problems or mistakes from our side even that can affect this that we will just lose this money. So in many cases we just prefer to work in the beginning with cheap products even if the uh, profit margins are lower. When you become more experienced dropshipper we will start and work with more expensive products. The next thing, and the last thing here, after we talked about the Vero, which is copyright violation, we talked about the misleading title, we talked about the price and the category, so the fifth thing here is the duplicate listing. You're not allowed, even if you are opening two accounts, to sell the same product, exactly the same product twice. So if I take the product that we already listed, and I go to Uploader, I will put here the link, Actually, AutoDS will not even give me the option to list a duplicate product because it's illegal on eBay. But you should remember that uh, this exists, so we don't try to list it somehow else from other ASIN, like other uh, product ID, 
or they like their neighbor or something like that. So these five things you should always remember them and don't try to play with it because it will uh, actually kill your account. I hope that everything here is clear and let's continue to the next lesson. So we are already understanding why it's so important to optimize our titles as beginners because we have lo low amount of products and we want these products to be promoted as much as possible to actually make money and profits from these products. So let's say that we found a product that we want to sell, for example this one. We used our uh, eBay sellers list and product upload uh, table. We used the calculator to check the uh, profit for the product and we saw that uh, the percent of profit here is actually very huge, 111%. So we added that here. This is the product by the way on AliExpress. Including the shipping it will be um, just one 0.63 because we are searching for e-packet always and uh, for 37 which is pretty cool uh, difference in prices so now we want to build the best title for this product to sell it let's do that so first I will go to the best seller link and I will use the best seller title so our best seller in this case is the same person that we are copying so this is his title now i will go to um to uh, autodesk log into my account i'll go to the uploader and i will put here the link to the product of aliexpress for sure, don't forget to choose here AliExpress China. About images optimizations and item specific optimization we will talk on the next lessons. In this one we will focus only about how to build the best title. Now for building the best title we have two main rules. The first one is that the first three or four keyword, uh, words here should be clear for a person who reads your title for a human and the later the other words should be keywords that are good for eBay's search algorithm. So we need to understand what are the keywords that usually people will search for and put them on our title. And now we'll talk about how to do that. So the first thing that I will do is that I will copy the title of my best seller and I will start from here. If you see that the title is bad or uh, not enough information, it can also just work using the title of Aliexpress and copy the title from here. But I will continue with the title of the seller. The next thing that we need to do is to understand what... First, we need to remove the duplicate keywords. So in this case, we have here the remover and the removing. So it's almost the same and maybe we will find other keywords that are more important than uh, one of them. For now, we will keep it. We, so we don't have any duplicate keywords here, we don't have anything to remove. We will also remove irrelevant words that we think that are not relevant, but we will do that later. Let's find the most, uh, the main keywords here in this title and start to research the product. So I will take the pet hair remover, because this is the uh, main keywords here, and I will go to a tool which called Title Builder. I will attach a link to Title Builder under this video, so we can just go there. After you go to Title Builder, go to Title Builder here on the top. Remember, we just need to take the only, only the most important keywords here. So it's definitely this. These are the keywords. I will put it here. By the way, even without the research, I can see here that the two way shouldn't be in the beginning of the title because it's not the main keyword here and also maybe we'll just need to remove this keyword in general 
So let's see the keywords that we have here. So we have uh, the keyword of dog. We will go and let it here, but we already have it here. We have the fill, which may be relevant. Maybe someone searched by this keyword. Brush, no, it's not a brush, so it's irrelevant. It's not a grooming product, it's US is irrelevant, and combo also irrelevant. Pet we already have in the title, and hair and remover we also have. We have the remover and we have the hair. The hair. Then cat um, also appears. Lint is something that we also have in our title. Reusable looks like a good keyword that we don't have, so I will add it here. Remember to add any uh, keyword with a capital letter, it looks better, so reusable. Cleaning um, may work, maybe we'll add it, but I'm not sure, we'll see. Roller we already have, massage irrelevant, washing irrelevant, glove, clothes, sofa and so clothes and sofa we don't have and we will add them to to our key, to our title. So our maximum length that we can have for a title is 80 characters. So now we need to start and remove the irrelevant keywords that shouldn't appear in the title. So the two way looks like something which is irrelevant. At least the clothes and sofa should be better. Also we saw that the re reusable is a strong keyword, but Let's verify that. So, what I will do, I will take the main keywords, open eBay in incognito, which is Control Shift N or Command uh, Shift N for Mac. I will put here the main keywords, and I will see what people are writing, the people who are selling this product and the peers in the top, what they write in their titles. You can actually see in any of the titles the keyword reusable, which means that this keyword is very important. You can see it also almost always in the beginning of the titles. You can also sort by um, by sold and remove the complete listings here. And also check here what worked for people. And here you will see the same results. You can see here again the reusable. Portable we see here, which is also nice keyword. So we saw that the reusable is a keyword that everyone uses. So I will take it here and put in the beginning of the title. Remember, the most important keyword should be in the beginning. So reusable pet hair remover roller. So till now it's very clear. The beginning is very clear for uh, the buyer, which is good because the first four keywords should be for the buyer and not for eBay. Actually, it's for both. It should be relevant keywords, but it also should be readable uh, for the buyer. Should be make should make sense for them. We still have too much uh, characters. Ah, removing. We have the remover here. So hair remover, roller. You remember that we want to add the keywords like dogs, cats, clothes, and sofa. So we can add here four dogs we will not write add and and stuff like that because it takes us uh, three characters so dogs cats we still have a bit more uh, keywords so uh, cl cleaning lint so we already used clothes cleaning sticking is a relevant keyword for us lint is good and maybe um, boom actually this title is perfect you can see here we have zero remaining uh, characters which means that we use all of our free space to add add as many keywords as possible so let's read the title and see if it makes sense reusable pet re hair remover roller for dogs cats cleaning lint clothes sofa so we have the dog we have the um, pet, we have the pet, I think so, yeah, we have the pet, we have the hair, we have the remover, cat, see again that we have twice the uh, keyword hair, 
So I'm gonna move it. Now we don't have any uh, duplicate keywords. So uh, lint, reusable, cleaning, roller, clothes, sofa, and removal, which is same as removal. So actually, all of the keywords that we saw in Title Builder, most of them actually already in our title, and we have zero additional space. Uh, we have zero uh, more place here to add other keywords. We have zero duplicates. So actually, this title is perfect. We used all of the right keywords. We can even even compare it with our competitors, and we are ready to go. Now, if you don't have enough keywords, what you can do? You can go to the description in AliExpress and read from here and find more keywords. About uh, stuff like reusable, you need to verify that it really describes your product. So, in this case, if you read the features here, you can see here... Um, so, from here you can understand what you are writing and not just write by keywords. And also another great solution is to go to our best friend Google, open it in incognito and write, go to Google and start writing the title. This way you will see here again more keywords like roller, like maybe car for clothes. You can see here that we already used it, pets. So all this stuff we already used, what was relevant for us. So we have title builder, Google, bestsellers on eBay, and a description of our supplier. From all these different places, we can get more keywords to add into our title. I hope that this video was clear for you. I know that it takes some time, and but as soon as you practice more and more, it will take you much faster. In this video I made uh, in a pupils some uh, mistakes like duplicate keywords just to show you the, an example of what you need to be aware of. Sometimes when you build the title you are adding the same keyword again and again so make sure to remove always the duplicate keywords. It's very important because you just don't need it and it doesn't benefit you at all. In the next lesson we will talk about how to build the best and the right item specifics for your listing to be promoted even more. See you there. The item specifications is one of the most important parts of our eBay listings and that is because many customers use the item specifications to filter in or filter out the properties that they want to have or see on their products while they are searching for the product that they are looking for on eBay. This mostly happens on the left side while they are searching for products but better yet when they are inside product categories and doing the searches from there. So besides having more customers, more buyers see our listings because of our item specifications, another feature that it gives us is it gives the customer more information about this specific product. So item specifications is something that we have to work on on every one of the products on our stores and this is exactly how we do it. On the drafts or in the products page on AutoDS, we have our products. In this case, we are talking about the pet dog cat reusable hair lint remover brush or just this pet brush that we talked about. So let's see what item specifications we have here. When I click on the product and I click on the arrow to open up its properties to optimize and edit this product's properties, we have the product description, variants, images, and item specifications. So I'm going to click on item specifications and when we are importing products from our suppliers to AutoDS, AutoDS already imports all of the item specifications that it recognizes from our supplier. In some cases we'll have some, in other cases we may not have any, and in other cases we may have a lot of item specifications that AutoDS was able to import to our stores. In this case, what we were able to get automatically from AutoDS is the product's material and the product type, which is a brush. So now, what are we going to do? What we want to do is add as many item specifications as we can to this product. So the first place that we're going to look is through the supplier where we added this product. So here we have the product on AliExpress. This is where I imported this product. And down here you can see the item specifications. So I clicked on that column and here are the specifications that I want on my store too. So as we can see here, we got the type. It is a lint sticking roller. In my case, the product type is brush because I added this one manually. 
So what I'm going to do is update it to lint sticking roller. So I'm just going to copy this specification. And here we have the edit button. So I'm going to edit that and edit to the right type lint sticking roller and click the check the fee. Now the product type updated to lint sticking roller. And now we can continue adding more item specifications by clicking on add item specification here and getting the next things like origin, China, they'll know that because the product is being shipped from China. Style, manual, it's not telling us too much. It's just telling us that working with this product is manual. It's not an electronic product or anything like that. But let's add that item specification too. So style, manual, add. And we can continue adding more specifications that were not imported automatically to AutoDS. And another way to get more item specifications because it is relevant, it is very smart to get as much item specifications as you can to get more customers to see your product when they're filtering all kinds of item properties. They can filter the exact specification that you chose for your product and that's how they'll see your product. And on top of that, as I've mentioned, the buyers will be able to see what other item specifications this product has and that just might be the trigger to get them to buy. So where are we going to get more item specifications besides what we're seeing from our supplier? Another place is to get it from eBay sellers themselves. So look for the same product. So in this example, I'm going to open these three tabs. Here is the first one. And if we roll down, if we scroll down a little bit, here are the item specifications for this product. So the type is a brush. We already have the type. Brand is unbranded, so that's not important. Material, ABS, and nylon. Now, we only had ABS because that's what we saw from our supplier. But let's see if maybe the supplier missed something here. So let's go to the second listing that we opened. So it's this one. Scroll down to the item specifications. Type is a brush. Brand, unbranded. Material, again, ABS and nylon. So there's not too many item specifications for this exact product. But let's say, for example, that there were 20 item specifications here and all of them are relevant and I want to copy all of them to my store. So one thing that I'm going to do, by the way, is also add plastic to the material. So it's not just ABS. We can see that it's also plastic. Now, let's say once again that this seller has a whole bunch of item specifications that I want to copy to my store too because they're all relevant and they're all correct. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to copy the seller's URL, the products. I'm going to stand on the product page and copy the URL on top. Then I'm going to head back to AutoDS and click on copy from URL. The product page on eBay is exactly what we just copied. So I'm going to paste it here and click on import. Now, as you can see, I have the exact specifications that that seller has. So since he didn't have a type and he also didn't have material, it got deleted from my store. And now my item specifications are exactly like his. Now mine were better. So I'm not going to keep his item specifications. I'm going to delete them and add the ones that are relevant to my product again. But if you found better item specifications on eBay and you want to copy that to your store in just one click, that is how you do it from the copy from URL. Now, once you have a whole bunch of item specifications, let's just add a few more. We know that the color for this one is orange. Now, another thing that we can do is edit all item specifications. So here you can edit all of them at the same time if for any reason you need to do that. So you also have that option. So all of these options will save you a whole bunch of time. I'm going to click on finish editing. And those are all of the options that you have on the item specifications. And once again, you have to use item specifications. It's going to get you much more views to your store and much more sales and profit. As mentioned, this is one of the most important columns on your product page. So once again, optimize your item specifications as much as possible. Enjoy those sales and I'll see you in the next lesson.